We are now going to discuss a tool called Geometric Information. It's a very simple tool to use and to understand. Geometric Information gives me an analysis of the curve or surface that I select. First, at the spot that I select on or the point that I select on, it gives me a little axis system or a little uh, UV direction indicating which way the U and the V of the surface, how the surface flows. And within the panel, you'll notice it gives me the name of the entity that I have selected. It gives me the geometry type. You'll see things in here like line, curves, circles, points, so on and so forth. Next, it'll tell us, tell us whether or not this is a canonical element. In this case, it's unknown whether or not the element is trimmed. In this case, no, it's not trimmed. Number of components in the U and the V. So this is the actual uh, invisible segment count. You don't necessarily see that. To actually physically see those things, you need to use a tool like dress up, apply dress up. And then this is the actual order of the surface, the six by six. So this tells me I have three segments in the U direction, one, two, three, one segment in the V, so all across, this is this one single span in the V, and each of those segments is a six by six. And that's what geometric analysis gives us. It gives us the actual mathematical breakdown of the element that we have selected. Now, if we pick something like this element here, you'll notice this is a large grouping of surfaces. If I pick it out of the tree, it doesn't know what to give us other than it's a surface. It's unknown whether it's canonical, trimmed, it gets confused because it has all of the elements inside of one element. It doesn't understand. I can pick this element out of the tree here, and you'll notice that because it's a singular element, it is able to give us the information appropriately. If I come in and pick a face off of or a patch off of this large element, it will break down the information off of that singular patch. I can pick an edge as well. And that is geometric analysis.